currently work on a research project called Resilient Materials for Life, which is an EPSRC government funded research project into self healing materials, and more specifically, self healing concrete. And what we're looking to do is to develop uh, construction materials that have a self healing ability. It's a research project that's being undertaken by four universities, uh, ourselves here in Cardiff University, Cambridge University, Bath University and Bradford University. The driver for this project is very much about the fact that our construction materials do age, they deteriorate over time, partly as a function of the uh, actions that they experience over that time and we spend a, a, a large amount of money actually repairing those structures uh, and, and looking to ensure that they last. What we want to try and do is enable those materials to, uh, to, to have an inbuilt mechanism by which they can repair themselves. It is very exciting and contains four main research themes looking to address self-healing. Now the first one is self-healing of cracks at multiple scales, self-healing which is time dependent and cyclic loading damage, self-diagnosis and immunisation against physical damage and chemical damage. And what this means is that we're looking to heal all the different problems that our concrete structures are subjected to out in the environment. So it started here in our concrete laboratory where we uh, were able to do small-scale experiments, small-scale specimen, uh, which uh, were able to prove the techniques that we were adopting. But we have also then upscaled that and more recently we have uh, undertaken some trial work on uh, the A465 in South Wales, the Heads of the Valley upgrading project. Uh, where we were able to build some mock re retaining walls uh, using the labour and materials that were used as a matter of course uh, on, uh, on a construction site. And what that has been able to demonstrate for us is that we can indeed uh, apply these techniques at full scale on a real construction site. The targets that we have set ourselves is that by uh, 2025 we will have materials out there in practice uh, which have this self-healing capability built into them. But longer term, uh, say 2050 and beyond, uh, then what we are hoping is that they will become it will become a regular occurrence that these materials are used and that actually we will have also uh, had an impact on the way in which we design our structures to, as I say, make them more sustainable, uh, more efficient, more economic. So I hear you ask why concrete, why, why self-healing in concrete? Now concrete is one of the most widely used man-made materials in the world with two and a half tonnes of concrete used for every person in the world every year. Now this is a staggering statistic. Now if we can save on some of the, the carbon footprint emissions, so to produce um, cement that goes into concrete, there's approximately five to seven percent of the world's CO2 is linked to producing concrete every year. So if we can save on the amount of concrete that we use, or make our concrete last a lot longer, we've got uh, high environmental benefits as well. But this project is multidisciplinary and the roles that civil engineers have in this project is very important. We've uh, a team of biologists, chemists, physicists, mathematicians and civil engineers all working together. And civil engineers lead this project. We're the ones that have to drive it, that actually give direction and Essentially, we are problem solving in, in, in a very large scale and looking towards the future as well. This is the way that future civil engineers could potentially design structures. The designing structures with self-healing components in them. As a civil engineer, I see this research as, as very exciting. Now, I've spent some time in industry as a practicing civil engineer and now work in research. The career as a civil engineer is, is very exciting and you can take it in many directions that you'd like. You, you could work 
in constructing things, you could design things, you could research new innovative cutting edge materials such as, such as we're looking at on Materials for Life. The opportunities in civil engineering are vast. It's an exciting career that you could work on, on many, many different projects. And problem solving is the essence of, of what we're doing here as, as civil engineers. Problem solving for the benefit of society.